Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to create a MySQL database, we're going to connect to the database and we're going to get data from it and show it on Unity. Before we begin, I want to deeply thank all of my subscribers and especially those who support me on Patreon. Thank you so much. Now let's begin with the video. So first of all, you need to turn on XAMPP, I already did so, and start the Apache and MySQL services. We are going to go to Google Chrome or Firefox, whatever you'd like to use, and just type localhost, and you should go to this dashboard. So we are going to go to PHP My Admin. Here is where we manage our databases. So on the left hand side, you can see all your databases and we're going to create a new one. So here we can set the name for our database. I'm going to call it Unity Backend Tutorial. So and, and you can actually see that even though I used capital letters, the name turns back to all small letters. So our database is made up of tables and we can have different tables with different kinds of information inside. We're going to start by creating a table that is going to hold our users information. So I'm just going to call this table users and we should maybe try to stick with all small letters since the database name is also all small letters. So just try to be consistent. And for users, we need to think what kind of information each user will have. So we will have an unique ID for each user. We will have a username. We will have maybe a password for the user so they can log in. We're going to have a maybe an email address if they want to register the email. We also need to have a Boolean to see if their user has verified their email or not. All these kind of things we need to think before we create a table, but of course, after you create the table, you can still modify it. I'm going to make a very simple users table with only four columns. And if we need more in the future, we're going to add more. So here you will see that you can define each table, the type and the length of the values. So here we can tune the settings of each column of our table. So the first column of our table, so imagine this as an Excel file. You can just have tables and rows of information. So the first column is going to be the ID, and this is going to be the unique ID of the user in our database. So this ID, I want it to be an integer. And here we have something called AI, and it stands for auto increment. That means every time a new user is created in this table, our database is going to look up the last ID or the latest ID that we have created and it's going to add one to it. So we want to click here, AI. And you just click go and that's going to be the primary index. So this is what we're going to use mainly to find users and have relationships with within other tables. Now the other fields that we want to fill, I'm going to have a username and this is going to be a varchar. You can use varchar for not very long text. So for example, text here you can see is a column with a maximum length of 65,535 times two to the power of 16, something is a lot. So we just want a varchar, which is this, zero to 65,000 uh, character string. So, and we can actually set the length of that string here. So for example, we could set a limit of 50 uh, characters. So username is going to be a var chart. So it's like a string in what we would usually say in C sharp. And that's it. We need a password so we can play around with the login. The password is also going to be a var chart. Uh, let's give it something also around 500. And finally, oops. I did something wrong. Sorry guys, I pressed enter and uh, I need to change 
the fourth column. I need to add. Now I need to add a new column. So <laughs> I pressed enter a little bit earlier, so I couldn't add my. I couldn't edit my fourth row. Um, but now we can. This is a good chance for me to show you how we add new rows. So we have an ID, a username, and a password. And we could have also something like a level. So let's add a level for the account. So, and we can also add a currency. Okay, let's do those two. So we're going to add two columns after password. Then go, and we can set the, just ignore that. We can set the properties here too. So the level is going to be an integer, and we, we are not going to have like uh, millions of levels. So maybe three is good enough. Let's do 10 just in case we want to do something. And for the money, so this we can call it something like uh, gold or or coins. Let's call it coins. Um, let's do something larger because we don't know how many coins. So this can be a huge number. Um, and then we save this. And this actually will tell us what my SQL was used to alter the table. We just added two rows, so this is the MySQL that was run on our database. So now if we go back to our database, if we click on our database, you will see that we have one table here, and we have some options for it, and we can click on the name of the table to take a look inside. And right now there is nothing inside. Um, you see here is empty. So let's create a user so that we can see some info here. We can maybe create two users and then try to get those two users in Unity. So to add a user, we can go here to SQL. And of course, we can do this from a PHP file. And that's how we're going to do it later on. But right now, we're going to do it right here from the database. So as you see, this is a simple SQL that selects everything from the tables user where one. So you actually don't need this. Um, so what we want to do is use a insert. So we want to insert into users and we have all the names of our columns and we want to insert the values that you see here. So these values of course are not valid so we're going to type the values there. But because the ID, remember that we said is auto increment, we don't actually need to add a value for that. So we're just going to remove this. So we're going to insert into users. We're going to insert into the column username, the column password level and coins, the following values. So the username is going to be something like test user. Then we want to make a password, and I'm just going to make it one, two, three, four, five, six. The level is going to be one, and coins is going to be zero. We're going to start with zero coins. And then we just press go, and we should create a user in our database. So go, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. test user, okay. I think we need to add a uh, I think we need to use that. Let's try one more time and there we go. So we inserted a row in our table. So now we can go back to users and you will see here that we have one entry. It's ID one, username test user, and the information we just did. So now let's create one more user quickly this time. So I'm just going to delete this, insert, remove all this. We don't need the ID. And uh, here we're going to add a test user two. Uh, I always forget the, the columns. Test user two, password is going to be QWERTY. Uh, level one and zero coins. So we go, that means we run this in our database. And now if we go back to users, we should see two users. Perfect. Now we 
can actually try to get this data with a PHP script and then we can request that PHP file from Unity and we should be able to get all this data into our game. And for that we're going to make another video, so I will see you over there. Guys, if you enjoy my content, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. So thank you again for watching and I will see you all on the next one.